Aloha, I'm Chris Berman, and coming up on ESPN, he's always well-dressed. He's Amani Toomer, fresh off a fifth straight 1,000-yard season a year ago. He'll definitely be a go-to guy in this one. Browns, Giants, now! While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hi, and welcome to Giant Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens. Peter O'Keefe is next to me in the booth, and Peter, we've got a couple of offensive powerhouses down on the field. No doubt about it, Dan. We could be in for a high-scoring game today. T.T. Barber is just a great all-around running back. He's got speed, vision, jukes, power, a little bit of everything. I'll tell you what, Dan, his teammate isn't too shabby either. Amani Toomer is one of those guys who excels as a possession receiver. He's not known for his breakaway speed, but he runs clean routes and can catch the football in traffic. Deadly combination out there. I'm dying to see how it pans out. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins, but first, the toss of the coin. Heads it is. Bill Dawson kicking off to the ground. The ref gets the signal, and it's we're time set. For Giants football. Dawson boots the opening kickoff. Ponder decides to take it out of the end zone. The ball's loose. The Giants have it. Touchdown at the 17. Number 90 didn't panic when the ball got loose, and that was why he was able to reel it back in the boat. The Giants will start this first play of the drive at their own 17-yard line. This one will fall incomplete. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Second and ten. Ball at the Giants, 17 yard line. Warner unloads this one to the left, and it's tipped incomplete. incomplete. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, those are some big setbacks up there, but unfortunately, this is to be expected. Players can't spend time worrying about whether they'll get injured. They just have to go out there, play hard, and hope for the best. Tyrone Carter came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice throw down the field, but the defense plays it perfectly. Great coverage downfield that time. Third down, one man back. Carter makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Tyrone Carter came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Fields lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Fields takes the snap and punts it away. Smoot gets it at the 42. Stopped at the 47. Fred Smoot did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Browns start this one on the center logo at the 47-yard line. Greason tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Nick Greason targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Palmer dumps this one off, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. 
Adrian Peterson shadowed the slant route back there and kept the receiver from making the catch. Incomplete pass. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Quincy Morgan looked like he had a solid catch there, and yet somehow he found a way to drop it. Third and long, they have a chance, but it's incomplete. Those are the situations where you want someone to step up and make a play. But no one did, and it will now be fourth down. LaFleur lines up to punt after the three and out. LaFleur takes the long snap and punts it away. Allen fair catches it at the 17. Fair catch interference, number 37, offense. 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Anthony First Henry down. made contact on that play after a fair catch signal was clearly made, so he got the call for interference. He just can't do that. The Giants stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 33-yard line. Carter catches the heater left sideline, and that's good for six. Kurt Warner made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and three. Ball at the Giants, 39-yard line. Warner airs this one to the left sideline, and it's complete at the 45. Finally stopped at the 41. It will be first down. Jeremy Shockey reels in the pass despite nearly getting squeezed by two defenders. There's the catch and the double coverage. They really didn't phase in there. Maybe they ought to send in a third. And Peter, we've talked before about what kind of an impact a big receiver can have on a football game. That's right, Dan. A lot of people still associate receivers with speed, but right here, height was what did it. Toomer goes in motion. his number call on first down and heads out right. Tiki Barber. Tiki Barber is built like a perfect back should be. 5'10", 200, low to the ground and broad shoulders. He's always ready to hit the holes his blockers make for him. Second down, Second tight end five. to the left. Ball at the 37. Barber picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. Davis was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. I managed to get a word with the team doctors, and they said that he has fractured his leg. Back to you, fellas. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susie. Third and five. Ball at the 36-yard line. Jones hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Fred Smoot put the brakes on that play without any help. Man, he had that zone locked down. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning, and they forced the incompletion with Rubble to be. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Fields lines up for the punt. Fields gets the ball and kicks what will be a short one. Smooth fields the short punt at the 13. Tackled at the 16. Fred Smoot got sandbagged before he hardly got anywhere on that run back, but the kick was so bad it still gave his offense a nice starting point. The Browns offense will start this drive at their own 16-yard line. Hyden takes the handoff and runs into traffic. Drag down at the 17. Greason with the tackle. Second and 10. Ball at the Brown, 17 yard line. Hyden. 
Palmer throws a heater, and it's complete at the 21. Tackled at the 25. Carson Palmer threaded the ball back there to his man, right past all that traffic. Good job. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Jones gains eight yards, and that will bring up first down. First down, Brown. First down from the shotgun. Ball at the Browns, 33-yard line. Palmer fires this one over the middle, and it's off incomplete. With the deflection. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You're bringing it. I'm bringing it, yeah. Second and ten. Ball at the Browns, 33-yard line. Jones picks up about two, and that brings up third down. Thomas Jones played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they weren't able to open up any holes for him. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Palmer throws a bullet here, and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Omar Stoudemire managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. <laughs> Allen fields the punt at the 23. Tackled at the 26. Will Allen didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Giants have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 26-yard line. Warner unloads this to the right sideline, and it's tipped incomplete. incomplete. Fred Smoot wouldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Hilliard makes a tough catch, and that's a gain of seven on the play. I kill you. Easily outclassed his defender on that catch, and he had that play all the way. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. Third down from the on. Warner throws a heater right sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Fred Smoot came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Fields lines up to punt after the three and out. Fields takes the long snap and punts it away. Smoot fields it at the 23. Tackled at the 33. Fred Smoot racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Browns send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 33-yard line. Emmons sacks him back at the 29. Carlos Simmons hauled down the quarterback for the loss of a little yardage and a lot of momentum there. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. Second down, 13 yards to go. Morgan makes 
the catch on the right sideline and gains about 12 yards. Quincy Morgan was getting double coverage there, but it wasn't enough to That's stop him from making the catch. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. That will end the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. Third down and no we stopped the game. Bring him out. Bring him out. We got the change. Not even close. Not even close. No first, baby. No first. Yeah, no first, baby. No first. Man. Jones gets the call again and heads up field. Wrapped up, but he's past the markers for a first down at the 44. First down. First down with the tight end right. Ball at the 44-yard line. Jones takes it off the cross and ends up losing about three. Carlos Simmons keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Ow! Oh, that's got to hurt. That's his second tackle so far. Falls incomplete. Terry Cousin had superb coverage on that play. No wonder it was incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Palmer throws a bullet, and this one is incomplete. Quincy Morgan looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. The incompletions keep piling up, and even here in the second quarter, it doesn't seem to be improving. Not at all. They're just not getting it together. The timing, the routes, the protection, nothing. Lafleur takes the snap and punts it away. Allen fields the punt at the 15. Brought down at the 24. Will Allen made a puddle jumper of a punt look even punier with that nice run back. The Giants have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own 24-yard line. Carter goes in motion. Warner zings it to the right side, and Passes it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Amani Tuma staked out some turf in the middle back there, but was not able to reel in the catch. Incompletion. That's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Smooth tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Fred Smoot managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great deal. That's his third batted ball. And he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see aggressive D like that, Dan. Third down, one man back. Warner passes this one after the play action and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Kurt Warner played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. 
You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. It's taken them a little time, but they get one of those big tosses to come down right. They're not going to be afraid to supersize their passing game if they need to. Ponder goes in motion. This pass will fall pass harmlessly to the ground, and I it's incomplete. I kill you had a chance for a mid-range completion back there, but he just couldn't connect. No catch. Peter, oh, I tell you, he, he seems to be in a bit of a funk recently. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, that's his fourth ball thrown his way, and, and he can't reel them in. Yeah, funky, Dan. He's just got to grab one to get his confidence back, though. Oh, this one over the middle, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Illegal forward pass, number 13, offense. Five-yard penalty and loss of down, third Kurt down. Warner was past the line of scrimmage on that. Coach Coughlin doesn't agree with the call, and we're going to see the red flag. Hey, we want a challenge. New York Giants is challenging whether the passer threw the ball after crossing the line of scrimmage. This is their first challenge of the game, and even if they lose this one, they still have one challenge left. When we watch this, Dan, let's see if he was past the line when he threw the ball. Watch as he releases the ball. Well, he looks behind the line to me, so I think they'll overturn this one. After review, the passer was behind the line of scrimmage at the time of the throw. There is no penalty. New York Giants will not be charged a timeout. First down. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. First down, two receivers to the left. Ball at the 30-yard line. Down! Make it up! Go! 74! Make it up! Go! 74! Tiki Barbo, the ball carrier. Dalen McCutcheon with the tackle. Second and nine. Ball at the 30 yard line. Back down at the 29. Third and eight. Ball at the 29. Down! Set! Back! Down! 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 the field goal unit is on the field. Jeff Fiegel is holding. Bryant with the 44-yard attempt and has it sailed just left of the upright. Matt Bryant sees his field goal attempt get waterlogged. There's the kick. And it's no good. Hard to be accurate when the football gets wet like that. Browns haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their 35-yard line. Palmer throws this on a rope, and the reception's made at the 39, and he's stopped right there. Dennis Northcutt nabbed the football away from three defenders in his area. That's got to feel good. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. Second and six. Ball at the Browns, 39-yard line. Second and six. Ball at the Browns, 39-yard line. Yeah. 
They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Palmer uncorks this to the left sideline and it's bobbled and dropped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Quincy Morgan had that ball in his hands on that play and then he just dropped it. That's his third drop of the game and that has to be frustrating. He's getting the passes, but he's not holding on to them. That's strange. He almost always makes those catches. Lafleur gets the ball and punts it away. Allen catches it at the 24. Stopped at the 28. Will Allen got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Giants could take the lead before halftime as their offense will start at their own 28-yard line. Carter goes in motion. Gray, 25! Gray, 25! Barber picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. With the tackle. Second and nine. Ball at the Giants, 28-yard line. Set! Go, 52! Go, 52! Barber gets the call again, and heads left. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Third down, seven yards to go. Warner fires this one over the middle, and it's complete. Short of the markers, however, it'll be fourth down. Sean Jones shut down the ball carrier just before he got to the markers. A good game, but not good enough. That's his second tackle so far. Fields gets ready to punt this away. Gets the snap and punts it away. Smooth fields the punt at the 25. Stopped at the 33. Fred Smooth racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Browns offense takes the field with the clock at 28. Palmer gets some air under this pass and it's intercepted. Tackles at the 47. Jason Doring is able to catch the ball in these rainy conditions, but he's playing for the defense, people. That rain is really rewriting the playbook out there today. And that time, the D was the big winner. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Giants' offense takes the field with the clock at 21. Pulls it in right side. The Giants take their first time out. First down, two wideouts on the field. <laughs> Warner rifles it out outside and he connects at the 17. The Giants will take a timeout. That's their second. The Giants take a timeout. That's their final one.
First down, goal to go. Bryant from 18 yards, and they take the lead. Matt Bryant gets a soggy football here, but he's on target. And the kick's good. Great job in this nasty weather. The field goal puts them in the lead, which is where they wanted to be heading into the locker room. Let's see if they can build on that slight lead in the second half. Bryant booms a beauty here. Green downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Browns' offense has taken the field, and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own 20-yard line. Palmer lets it go deep down the right side, and it's off incomplete. Holding, number 52, defense. Five-yard penalty, automatic first down. Eric Green clearly earned a flag on this one. He held his man a little too obviously here. Yep, defensive holding is the call, and I got to agree with that. First down and five wide receivers take the field. Hurls in the lob right side, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Quincy Morgan had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. And Peter, that time, neither of those guys really yeah, had a height advantage on the other. Yeah, and sometimes when you find yourself locked in a matchup like that, it simply becomes a question of who wants the ball more. Advantage offense there. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Giants with a small lead, three to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our numbers from the first 30 minutes and one line that leaps out right away. Fourth down conversion. The Browns should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Kurt Warner would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Giants now early in the second quarter. The ball at their own 23-yard line. Kurt Warner would find his target on this one. Brown coming up on the end of the half. Jason Dory is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Giants late in the second quarter. Kurt Warner connected with his man on this one. That set up an extra point like 19-yard field goal. Giants ahead, three to nothing. Carson Palmer is going to get this one out to his wide receiver, and he'll do the rest. Not a lot of action after that, and that's where we end up. Giants are the only ones on the board. Three to nothing. It's time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Kurt Warner has taken over this game. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Browns will receive to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Currently, they're down three to nothing. Now let's get to the game. Green decides to take it out of the end zone. Charges, brought down at the 22. Peter, interesting order to the division, isn't there? Oh, you bet. Let's go down to Susie Culber, who has an update for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. 
Head coach Butch Davis definitely seemed frustrated when I spoke to him at halftime. He said, we've just got to put some points on the board. Our defense has been doing all right, but offensively, we just haven't been able to get it done. He said, the plan is to make some adjustments in the next half. And we'll see how it works out. Dan? Thanks, Susie. Jones gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Second and seven. Ball at the Browns, 25-yard line. Jones dodges this one way out right and chews up about four on the play. Wow, look at those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. Jones carries it for the ninth time and heads out right. Dragged down at the 36. That will bring up first down. First down. Thomas Jones stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. Nice play, and they will convert on third. Great execution, Dan. They did everything right. First down with the tight end right. Jones barrels off his left guard and picks up a couple. All right, what have you got? Okay, all right. Second and seven. Ball at the Browns, 38-yard line. Down! 10, 3, 66! Cut, cut, makes the catch in the flat and gains a couple. Carson Palmer lived dangerously on that play with a pass into double coverage, but the throw was on target. What a pass. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Rifles this pass and it's intercepted. intercepted. Runs out of bounds at the 41. Will Allen does a nice job picking off the pass there. He's got it and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. Well, that's their second interception of the game and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Giants are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 41 yard line. They'll get the carry on first down and gains about three yards. Number 58 okay, with the time this before. You know the plan, you know what to do. Stick to the plan. Second and six. Ball at the 38 yard line. Hilliard goes in motion. Farmer will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up third down. Kevin Bentley targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. And Peter, he reminds me a little of a, of a lion laying in the weeds out there waiting to pounce. And you need cat-like reflexes to bring that guy down. What a matchup. Henry tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Anthony Henry came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. That is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Fields lines up to punt after the three and out. Fields takes the long snap and punts it away. Smooth takes it at the 10. Tackled at the 17. Fred Smoot fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. Mm 
The Browns were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 17-yard line. Jones picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. Thomas Jones used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what second you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. 18-yard line. Jones will get the carry on second down and choose up about four on the play. Third down, five yards to go. Jones is at the 35, 45, 35, 20, 10, 5, touchdown! touchdown. Oh, look at this guy go to town. This is a great run. What an athlete, Peter. A fantastic display. Hey, watch for this one to appear on SportsCenter later tonight. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 129 yards and one touchdown. Here's the point after, the and point is good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Dawson rockets this one deep. Bain decides to take it out of the end zone. Brought down at the 19. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Look at how many times they've had to punt it away. They've got to put a few longer drives together and get into the end zone. Ron Dane took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Giants stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 19-yard line. Warner zips it to the left sideline, and Pass it's tipped incomplete. Kurt Warner knows how to spread the ball around, as you can see by this passing chart here. He's getting the ball into his receiver's hands and has piled up 115 yards and no touchdowns. Second and 10. Ball at the Giants, 19 yard line. Grabs the fastball over the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. Amani Tuma had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been in completion. He's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. Warner zings it to the right side, and it's caught at the 46, 30, 25, 15, 5, and he's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Giants! Mike Hilliard makes the catch and then adds a whole lot more on the ground. Watch. Reels it in and then makes the D reel with all the yards he's tacking on. Peter Hill had a touchdown to his stats, and he has to be very happy with that. You bet. Big play, my friend. Here's the extra point, and it's good. The 
ref gets the signal, and we're set. Right, rockets this one deep. Green decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 26. William Green got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Browns will start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Jones cruises out to the left side and picks up a couple. Thomas Jones had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down, two receivers to the left. Jones takes the handoff and heads wide right. Breaks free. Eventually runs out at the 44. It will be first down. Thomas Jones makes a great play here, picks up some huge yards, takes it to the outside, then eventually runs out of bounds. Check it out. Nice play. He got what he needed, and then he headed for the That's sidelines. The what a run, man. He is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. And up to now, he's got 139 yards on 15 carries. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Giants with a small lead, 10-7. up a yard on the play and that will bring up second down second and nine ball at the Browns 44 yard line down. Set. goes right up the middle and picks up a couple Third down, tight end to the left. Jones gets the call on third down, and the ball's loose. Touchdown at the 49. Eric Green delivers a solid hit here, but I think if it hadn't been raining, he would have held on to it. As it was, that ball was more slippery than an eel covered in motor oil. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big time play. The Giants want to capitalize on the fumble and will start this drive at the 49 yard line. Warner unloads this one to the left and it's incomplete. tipped incomplete. Zeke Moreno got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Ben goes in motion. Barber takes it for his eighth carry and ends up losing about three. Tiki Barber just hasn't gotten into a groove and isn't finding running room anywhere. This has been tough, and he struggled to get seven yards on eight carries. Third down and four wideouts in the game. The Giants, 48-yard line. Warner rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's intercepted. Tackled at the 36. John Jones intercepts the football. Let's take another look. That is a stellar effort on the part of the D. He's got his own all locked up tight. He knows how the play is going to go down. And that gives him the chance to step in and make a play himself. You can't coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. Jones carries this one off to the right and passes the line. Dragged down at the 45. 
Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Green takes him down back at the 43. Eric Green targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Third down, two wideouts on the field. Jones loses one on the play, and that will bring up fourth down. Carlos Simmons was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got six tackles and one sack. LaFleur takes the snap and punts it away. Tackled at the 25. Will Allen didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Giants offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 25 yard line. Farmer gets the call on first down and runs into traffic. Locked down at the 29. Yeah. Yeah. Second down Second with the five. tight end right. Ball at the Giants, 29 yard line. Hilliard goes in motion. Warner uncorks this to the left sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Anthony Henry. Anthony Henry swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Barber is at the 40, eventually runs out of bounds at the 45. First down. Barber gets the call on first down and picks up the first down. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down with two tight ends to the right. him behind the line of scrimmage. Kevin Bentley was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. And I'll tell you what, this looks like it wasn't that difficult to tackle, but he had his hands full. Yeah, looks can be deceiving, Dan. He really had to square himself perfectly to make that play. Second down from the eye. Takes it across the line, and he's stopped. The clock continues to run. Even though that'll bring up a third down, they keep the clock rolling. They can chew up a bunch more here unless the D uses a timeout. Third and eight. Ball at the 42-yard line. Well, this is where the offense goes in slow motion. No hurry to start the play. Use up as much time as possible. Barber carries it yet again and heads out right. One man to beat. The 15. Five. Runs out and that will stop the clock at 119. It'll be first and goal. Tiki Barber makes a silly mistake here. He should be running out the clock, but instead he runs out of bounds. Big mistake. He should have been paying attention. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. 
Look at the numbers generated on the ground. That is impressive. They stay in bounds, Dan, and keep the clock ticking away. D has to plan when they're going to use their timeouts now. Second and goal. Ball at the two-yard line. The Browns take their first time off. Kevin Bentley targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Rivers goes in motion. Hunts him down in the backfield and the clock will continue to run. That will bring up fourth and goal. Timeout call. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Jeff Fiegel is holding. Bryant with a 21-yarder, and it's up through the goal post. Good. Matt Bryant gets the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches, and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. Bryant booms a beauty here. Eshamandu decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 21. Joe Eshmandu took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Browns start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 25. It over the middle, and he's got the Browns take a timeout. That's their final one. First down from the shotgun. Ball at the Browns, 41 yard line. Palmer throws this one way downfield, and it's tipped. Passes incomplete. Omar Stoutmeyer with the deflection. Yeah, yeah. 
Second down. The clock is stopped at 12. 41 yard line. Northcott didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Throws this one deep down the right sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Jason Doran came in and got a hand on that football, and left no chance for a reception there. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive game. Green gets it snapped directly to him and can't convert. They will forfeit the ball on downs. <laughs> Frank Walker makes his presence known on this one. He's going to haunt the ball carrier's dreams for a while. Oh, a big tackle on fourth. That's, That's how you regulation. stop a conversion. They had the right idea there, going for it, trying to put the ball in the end zone, but they couldn't convert. It was the right time to roll the dice, Dan, but this time the house wins and they turn it over. And that is going to do it for this one. The Giants come out on top 13 to 7. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Giants stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Will Allen was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Ball at their own 21. Thomas Jones gets the carry on third down as they stick to the running game, and he delivered a 78-yard touchdown for the Browns. The Giants trying to answer back. Giants trailing by four. Ike Hillier came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. They grab their first lead of the half and go up by three. The Browns on D. Carlos Simmons comes up big here as this ball's out, and he's in the right spot for the recovery. Browns losing 10 to seven. Sean Jones is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. This time at the 43 yard line, Tiki Barber is gonna get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground. He makes the most of this one. That set up an easy 22 yard field goal. Rounds back by six. Carson Palmer would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Giants edge out a win, 13 to seven. Now let's check in with our player of the game. A guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Ike Hilliard is on the sidelines with Susie Coleman. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You were fantastic. And you nose them out in this nail-biter game. What gave you guys the edge today? Our offensive line played great all game. They did a great job of protecting the pocket, and they made big gaps for our backs. Some folks like to focus on the skills position, but you got to appreciate what those guys do for us in the trenches. Chris, back to you. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time.